Hey, Void, how you doing? Been a little while, but I've just been not really feeling the review on this one, so it's kind of stalled me out. So, I've got a few that have been kind of backing up again. This is this movie is just difficult to talk about, just because it, it had potential. It did. But it ended up being sort of an incoherent mess towards the end, despite delivering a not bad emotional punch. <clears throat> the Lingering. A Chinese film about circa 2018, and one of many ones that I've found for a dollar at the local Dollar Tree. Uh, apparently this one does still... Oh, it's still fairly well uh, available at a normal price, but I was happy I only spent a dollar on it because really, it isn't terrible, but there's too much that doesn't add up. It's trying to go in two vastly different directions at the same time, and because of that, it really undercuts itself. That and the uh, explanation on the back is uh, not accurate either. <clears throat> okay, so the movie is kind of can really be chopped into two halves. The beginning when the main character is a child, and then afterwards when he is an adult slash restaurant tour. Alright, so to quote the back of the, uh, the box for it, uh, The Lingering. Uh, the original title was Kuzak, I believe. <clears throat> anyway. Dawa and his mother. Okay. Spend a terrifying night alone in the basement. Okay. After being tormented by a strange and dangerous presence. Okay, that that's attempt to describe the first half of the film. Now, yes, there's a presence after them. They're in the basement for all of 30 seconds, maybe, but for the most part, they're just running around the house and hiding in cupboards more than the basement, so I don't really know what they're talking about there. A lot of these, the backs, they seem to be written by people who have not actually seen the film. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway. So, what's going on during that, and... There's no real way to talk about this movie without going into spoiler territory, so... Yeah, if you want to see this one, and want any surprises, cut out here. I'll just say I'm giving this one a four MacGuffins. It's almost five. And really, if it had just stuck the landing, could have been more, but four MacGuffins. Anyway. So for the first half, it's, uh, they're waiting for their, er, uh, then Dal was waiting for his father to come home, who has been away for a couple years at some woodworking plant, I believe. Anyway, there was an accident, and his father is now not coming home. However, something else seems to be, be there and begins tormenting that as the strange uncle has shown up, and which only he seems to be seeing, and essentially they get chased around by a ghost for that evening, which was the ghost of a co-worker of his who blamed the husband for the accident that happened. So, yeah. It's pretty self-contained there, which, that part was fine. The beginning part, great. I thought I was in for something good here. I mean, there's a decent amount of suspense, I mean, the effects weren't great, but it was engaging. Then it cuts to later, where it starts to fall apart. Now, he then Dawa has now grown up, he's grown apart from his mother. There's a lot in the beginning part about uh, how much he was a mother's boy, he wanted to stay with his mother, wanted, and... Anyway, uh, so he's moved out, he's engaged, he's about to close his big big restaurant deal, but he needs money to do so. And he keeps ignoring his calls from this village that his mother has been missing. Well, the back here now. <clears throat> Years after his mom's death, Dewa is forced to return, again facing the presence that once tortured him as a child. That's complete bullshit. Now, Dawa's mother goes missing, well, in the movie, and then finally gets a call that a body has been found, would you come identify it as your mother? That's not years later, this specifically says years. It ain't years. It's days, tops. Anyway, and as for the presence tormenting him, now that's... I don't know. And that's the problem I'm having. Now... 
he goes back to his home village, and he's got a retail agent pressuring him to sell a house that his mother wouldn't sell. They want to develop the area. The only person who is held out is this is his mother. And now that his mother's gone, they want him to sell the house. And that was okay selling the house. He just wants to hold, put him on the line a little, drag, drag up the price. Okay, cool. Fine. But he has to look around his house for the deeds to sell the place. And spooky things start happening. Thing, seeing things out of the corner of his eye. And there's a lot of flashbacks to his life between uh, when the first section and this section. And those parts work. There is a decent emotional impact between Dawa and his, his mother and how they were slowly growing apart. That part's all working. But, now, the agent tries to scare him off, but ends up encountering a ghostly presence that uh, drives him away and leaving Dawa to try to find what's going on himself. However, the at night, a strange presence attacks him and his fiance, putting his fiance in the hospital, leaving him to have to go to the house to find the stuff himself. Okay. Now, this is kind of where the movie breaks down for me. Now, a lot of the... One, I don't know why the mother didn't sell the house. This seems to claim that the presence never left the house. That seems to not be true. As the mother's been living there just fine. And Dawa was living there for years just fine. So apparently it was just a one-night haunting. Anyway. So, also, the mother's completely not wanting to sell the house. It never really gives a reason other than the fact that it was her husband's house and she didn't want to sell it. Sure. Fine. But... Most of the conflict here in the movie hinges around the fact that uh, his mother was found, found uh, drowned, has been a bit disfigured by the effect of being in the water for several days. So they call in Dawa to identify her body. And uh, he most identifies her by a bracelet she was wearing. Turns out, that wasn't his mother. She's still alive. She just has dementia. And has been wandering around confused in the house, which is responsible for most of the ghostly sightings. If it was just that, I would rate this movie much higher. That would have been fine. Would have been okay. I would have been great with that. It left a decent emotional impact. And my partner was tearing up over thoughts of her own mother after this. It was working. But the problem is, <clears throat> they tried to have it both ways on the ghost angle. Because if all the stuff was like the the woman in the rocking chair or that the retail agent saw when trying to spook him was the mother just confused. Okay, so he actually saw something. Fine. But there was some sort of presence that attacked Dawa. What was that presence? Was it the guy from like 30 years ago who had been quiet all this time? Was it the, his father trying to get him to not sell the house? Why was it attacking him and his girlfriend? Why was he being choked by some supernatural entity? It never addresses it again. And I guess now Dawa's just content to live in the house with his mother and uh, reconcile. That's fine. But why have a supernatural attack in the second act that doesn't add into anything? It The movie is pulling in two different directions. It wants to be both a supernatural horror film and an emotional drama, which can work, but they have to interweave a little here. It's just pulling in two very separate directions and it causes the whole thing to just kind of fall apart under its own weight. If you just nixed up the supernatural element in the second half, this could have worked because then it would have been a good uh, playing with expectations because you set up the ghost in the first half. You think it's a ghost in the second half, but no, it's just his mother. Okay, that would have worked. But why do you have this extra entity that's harassing him? They never say who or what it is, so it didn't have to be there. And it just takes away from, as soon as you start thinking about, about it, the rest it just shoots a hole through the whole thing. So yeah, four MacGuffins is the best I'm going to do on this one. It would have been a five, maybe even six if it uh, came together a little bit neater, but... No. Yeah, best I can do on this one. Alrighty. Have a good day, everybody.